Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the fourth grade concept of multiplication, specifically how we can easily mentally multiply by 10 or 100 and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's say you were to look at this problem real quick. 324 times 10. Well, I can tell you without doing any type of work that it's 3240. Now how do I know that? Well let's break this down by partial products. Let's take, let's take this uh, 324, let's break it up into expanded form. So 324 is 300 plus 20 plus 4. Now what we can do is we can take each of those places and we can multiply each of those places by 10. We can do it separately and then we can add those sums up. Those are the partial products. So let's say 300 times 10, so that's going to be 3,000. So look at, what, look at what we just did here. 300 times 10 is the same as 300 with an extra zero. We just put that zero right there. So we're going to put that as 3,000. Now I need the 20 times 10. So 20 times 10 that's going to be 200. So it's the same thing. 20 times 10 is just 20 with that extra zero added right there. So I'm going to put that right here as 200. And then if I wanted to do this last one, 4 times 10, well, that's a multiplication fact. We know 4 times 10 is 40. But look, 4 times 10 follows that same pattern, equals... 4 with an extra 0. So it looks like if I were to multiply anything by 10, all I would need to do would be to just put a 0 at the end. And this is how you can mentally add a 0. If you're multiplying anything by 10, a whole number by 10, decimals are different, and you can get your answer. So let's see what happens when we do a larger number. Let's say 4,792 times, hmm, let's say 100. Do you think we can do the same thing? Does it follow the same pattern? Well, let's do our multiplication real quick. So let's make a little space here. So we're going to break this down into 4,000 plus 700 plus 90 plus 2. We're going to multiply all that times 100, one spot at a time. So if I were to do my 4,000 times 100, I'll show you the long way, then I'll show you the really short way. 1, 2, 3. So there's four zeros in that first row. Second row starts with a 0, another four zeros. It's the last row with two zeros that finally gets us something. Zero, 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 four. So I'm going to end up with, let's see, I'll put it right here. 400,000. Wow, 400,000. Here's the shortcut. If you're going to multiply 4,000 times 100, count your zeros. I've got five zeros. Multiply the two non-zero numbers, one times four. So one times four is four with five zeros. There's my 400,000. Let's do my 700 times 100. So that's three zeros, some more zeros. And then finally, I get two zeros in the last row. I get zero, zero, seven. 70,000. Let's see if that same trick would have worked. Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four zeros. Multiply the non-zero numbers, seven times one. Yep, that would have worked, which means my 90, I can do that. 90 times 100, that's going to be nine with three zeros. So that's going to be 9,000. And then two times 100 is going to be 200. So if you add up those partial products, you're going to get 479,200 which is the same thing as writing 4792 and simply adding those two zeros at the end. So that's the trick.